Picking up right where we left off with Mr. Zack. Oh, we'll just go straight into it when you continue. <laughs> what a tool. Yes, you remember this scene, don't you? Crocodile just saw it. So, presumably, he's meant to be talking to just um, just the people who entered the previous tournaments. Because you can't just go into a random person's house and go, I'm dragging you to the DOA tournament. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's been a while since I've actually got any DOA recording. Uh, things have been a bit hectic, actually, because uh, my mum's in the hospital right now. So, uh, I've had to uh, look after my brother while, while she's, um, you know, while, while she's there. So I've had less uh, time to get recording done. So I finally got a bit of free time while he's at school, so I can do this. I'm I'm gonna fight Jan Lee. And yeah, he's won his DOA four out at one from DOA four again, which came as d default in dimensions. Shit, my hat came off. No. Yeah, I've actually, I've actually been uh, playing uh, quite a bit of uh, the other the other modes uh, for this game. So I figured, I figured out how the uh, this this thing works. Some characters just help have hold back. Some characters hold down up, down and back down, back together. I'll just have to sack it off and just try and beat him normally. Yes. Okay, that was random. But I win! I win the fight! Now Jan Lee's gonna enter the tournament randomly. Oh, Tina. Baby. So do I have to do his version of the fight? Wanna come back? My thoughts exactly. But first, a warm one. Yep. Oh, no. And he's dead. He beat Jan Lee. And like spoiler alert, Jan Lee does fairly well in the tournament. So clearly Zack's not that bad. Yeah, so this is like Yeah, so so this is How did why is he lying there? Yeah. Why don't you watch where the hell you walking? Drunk? What a douche. I don't know what a chaser is. Let me kick your ass. Is it something to help you sober up or what? Yeah, see, he's got his ass kicked by Tina, and then he's right back into the fight, going to beat up Brad Wong. Well, probably lose a couple of, a couple of rounds first, but Shh. fuck you, damn it, fuck my life, damn it, fuck, fuck off. See, see, this is why I fucking hate fighting Brad Wong. He's such a cunt. And I'm, you're gonna die. I'm gonna die now. Uh, damn it! I thought it was gonna run an encounter. And he's like sitting cocky, you fucking dick. Okay, not even a thud when it hits the ground. Damn it. So, time for the generic commentary. Just in case. But yeah, so. Uh, basically, I've been trying out trying out the other characters, the uh, the new ones. Uh, Marie Rose is all right. Uh, Nyo Tengu is just Tengu, but, but with uh, moves making into a woman. That's effectively all she is. Uh, and uh, I can't, I'm trying to think of the other characters. That, if I get them all, uh, Rido is just back as a cyborg, and it's retarded. And I just won this, that match, yeah, mate. Uh, so yeah, a beat. So Rido is not that great. Uh, the new character, uh, Honoka, she's all right. Uh, Trying to think of who else is in the game. Uh, hmm. So is that going to interrupt this or? Hmm.
No. Oh. Um. We gonna have some fun. Yeah. Your heart's gonna be all mine, baby. But I have to fight. So I have to beat both of them. Yeah, he lost to Tina before, and I was gonna beat both her and Mila together. Oh, fuck's sake. Wait, is that, yeah, Zach has lost to both of them. Now he's, gonna, now he's meant to be proving himself by beating both. Oh, this is. No. It's gonna be bad. Not doing too bad for now. That was pretty cool. Yeah, uh, so, uh, all the characters. Phase 4, the uh, the new clone of Kasumi. Basically, she just has all of her... She basically there as this kind of replacement for um, Kasumi Alpha. Even getting all... Basically, even getting all the costumes that like, Kasumi had that were given to Alpha. Basically, all the ninja-like ones. She has those costumes. It, the moveset is basically just Kasumi's, but, like, way faster. It's, it's actually awesome. And Phase 4 is basically that uh, other Kasumi clone from the start of the story. Yeah, she's the uh, the other Kasumi clone from the start of the uh, the game. Who doesn't appear in the story, sadly? That's kind of the problem with it, having the, the uh, DLC catch not be in this, this story mode, because it means that, well, they're completely irrelevant for DOA 5. And they're not going to be plot relevant until 6. The quarterfinals already. And so, yeah, so basically, no, no straight away that Rig gets to the quarterfinals. Yeah, so that's how the, that's, that's, that's how the timeline goes, basically. Yeah, so this is the the, uh, the quarterfinals from here. 24 and 21. So Riggs goes way far back. He's the unknown woman. Who is it? It can't be Christy, even though she has a white suit and white hair. Oh, he's the boss of the platform, owned by Doatec. Okay. No one's irrespective of the other roughnecks of the platform. Riggs also mastered his own, his own style of Taekwondo. One day in the middle of work, a mysterious lady pays. You don't even tell, tell you who he is, really. Because, like, yeah, he, he has amnesia and he's found on the rig. So he calls himself Rig. Or something daft like that. Yeah. Look at this guy. OMG, Christy. She's here with a very specific purpose. Look at all the guys in the background. Yeah, so she's she got the hard hat on, but I wonder if you can get her wearing the hard hat like, as, as part of that costume. That'd be funny. It's one of the alternate hairstyles. I mean, it's better than Christie's actual alternate hairstyle, but she's basically hey, Ivy from Soul Calibur. And she's got one that's basically Anna from Tekken. So I take it you're the one in charge, yeah? Yep, Laura Bailey's voicing her now, instead of April Stewart. Sorry, pretty lady. I got no idea who you are. It's dangerous. Better stand by. So why is he not wearing goggles or something? I'm sure you meant to wear goggles and a helmet in these in these places. Just in case oil shoots you in the face. And like melts you. How random was that? They don't, they don't even fight. Oh look! Oh look at all this, mate. I'm sure one of the guys voiced by Liam O'Brien, who is also Rig. Also, their face is shit. But why? Why? Why did there someone walking behind the bar wearing like the hard hat and that? I mean, that's just silly. You've grown. You're quite the real man. So Christy evidently knows Rig. Have they met? What? What? I see that knife. Am I? Sorry. So what's your name then? Everyone calls me Rig. But I don't know what my real name is. Ah, finally some backstory for him. What's the story there? <coughs> I was brought up here. Never knew who my parents were. Never left this place. What's with the questions? So he was just raised on a rig. That's like an odd place to raise a child, doesn't it? Like, you won't just take him back to shore. 
to an orphanage. I wanted to see how strong you are. Now, enough with the foreplay. What? <laughs> oh, gee, I have to do a fight. They, they, they take it outside. At least it makes more sense than. Uh, I don't like. I wish I could fight in the bar though, but at least it makes more sense doing this than um, going in and having to go to uh, like some random park across the road instead of just fighting in the street, then teleporting back into the street. See, I think that, 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 that those fights they really should have set them in the street. Oh, the stuff that can explode. Okay, can we move on, please? Ah, Taylor's back. So who's, who's Taylor? Yeah, and for some reason, Christy starts working here. Yeah, for some reason, the people from DOA, DOA are, are here now. Why are they not? Well, I think this is where the, where the finals are being held. Like, I think the arena is here on the oil rig. Now you look like a real fighter. Here to take a shot. There we go. Generally, seem like less of an ass in this game. Because just like, you know what? Let's have a fight. I, I think it's the fact that he just generally looks less angry as well. If you look at his, his typical default expressions, in like, especially in DOA 4, he generally looks angry all the time. Whereas here, he's just like, he's like. He basically smiling then, he's like, you like you could be good fight, mate. Oh shit. Damn it. Yeah, so I only realised, uh, actually, uh, more recently that, like, since playing the last time, that the uh, the characters you the characters you play as in the prologue are actually the, the two new characters, Mila and Rig. So, it, so it's not just random fuck. It's like, it's like those two are chosen for a reason. Fuck! Well, motherfucker. You beat me. Here we go. I can, I can, I can try again now. Why are you making me wait so long? I think... I suppose, my, my only problem with Riggs is that he's not that, got that... Really that great... Uh, not that potential. See, though, I didn't even knock him off the edge. But, like, most of the other characters can, can quite easily. Counter is way harder in this game than, than, than the others. Do you notice how I'm doing it way less often? It's not for lack of trying. I really am trying to get get some counters in. Well, at least I opened him up to, an, to another attack. That was good. Ha! I'm going to go to the next fight. Uh... I challenge you. You're gonna be in for some pain. Yeah, and it's, yeah, so it's, it's, it's another case of a fighting game having a story mode where they're clearly just really out of ideas for, for what to do. So they, they just have random characters fighting for no reason. You know, like, I, it's like it's, that's the problem that uh, like MK2011, for example, has. Where it's like, oh no, you have to have um, fucking Jax fighting Johnny Cage because Johnny Cage's being a bit of a twat. I mean, really? And speaking of Mortal Kombat, it's like, yeah, now they've announced that uh, in, uh, Kenshi in that series has a son. And it's like, Kenshi wasn't even in the last one. Aside from being DLC, so he weren't part of the story. And it's like, nah, K Kenshi has a son and he leaves him in the care of Scorpion. I mean, I, they probably can't try and do this thing where Scorpion's raising like his own son because Scorpion had a son, but it's like, no. You don't leave your child with Scorpion. He's like the last per well, other than Quan Chi, he's like the last person you would leave your son with. And then you got Bass played by Patrick Sykes who plays Scorpions so it all ties together perfectly. Way! You can't say I'm talking about random shit now, can you, dickheads? Even though no one's ever said that about my videos. What? Oh, it was a dream. The fuck? The f what's going on? What's happening? Oh no! Look how strong he is. 
why did we so always put the subtitle on of what the hell's going on? That was dumb. Subtitles in this game are bad. So this, I'm, I'm assuming we'll get another scene of another character explaining what's going on here. Like in the next chapter or something. Don't just fade out! Show the, show the epic conclusion of Summit. Good job, old man. <laughs> well, they fixed it, but what the hell caused it? Oh, Eleanor. What the hell was that anyway? Big boom out of nowhere. Yeah, that's a good question. Main valve completely blue. Good thing you were around us. It's probably sabotage. In our temporary headquarters. And who's high on naughty? Oh, Bass! Yeah, I get to play as Bass now! Oh, it picks up right where that left off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I pressed left and it's like straight to rig. So I, f I forgot how the controls for this, this screen work. But, back to Bass. But the thing is that this kind of gives you an idea of how long the story's going to be. Because you kind of assume it's, it's going to go roughly to what? Either goes right to the end of the line or to be like symmetrical with the. Um, the prologue one. The. So yeah. Oh yeah, th th there is a phase four. That's a default outfit. And it's, it's cool when you pair up with the uh, Casimir. It's really cool. <laughs> 